and there's this technique I want to teach you um, as well that I just learned about and you can do it on yourself and it's amazing. Okay, let's see if we're, are we live in the Facebook group yet? We are live on Facebook. So welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Today opening the Open to Love Festival is my beautiful dear friend and incredible healer, Asha T. Welcome Asha, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and so uh, I would love for you to just talk a little bit about, um, about what you wanna teach today and, and your topic, which is activating your energy field. Beautiful. First of all, thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Open to love is such an amazing concept. And obviously I've worked with you and you are just like, ugh, I feel like you're a gift for me and my journey. You've been so helpful and just, just such a powerhouse. So thank you for having me on. What a great concept. I can't wait to get to know everybody else who's partaking in this this week as well. So it's super mm -hmm. exciting. So my name is Asha. For those who are watching, I can't actually see who's live and tuning in. So if anybody says some good comments, holla at your girl, make sure you tell me. Mm -hmm. um, I will, but I can't even see this. I can't even see it coming up on Open to Love yet. You might have to put it on your phone as well. Oh yeah, maybe I could do that. Yeah, that's probably a good idea because I'm on my phone straight up. Um, I've come down to it's New, um, North Carolina with no electric toothbrush and no converter for my Australian computer. So my computer is dead. <laughs> okay, I've got it. We are definitely live on Facebook oh, streaming beautiful. and open to love. So I'll, oh, and Stephanie Pinto says, hey. Okay, hey, Danielle, Steph. Christina Lee is also on as well and a few others. Yeah, okay, great. We're, we're okay, on, great. so go ahead, Asha, okay, please. Fantastic. Yeah. So wonderful. Um, For those that don't know who I am, my name is Asha T. I am an emotions regulation coach I'm a certified emotional intelligence facilitator. I have um, uh, certificates from ITT in trauma and attachment, and I'm currently doing a course in PTSD. I also studied most recently hypnosis, and I will be doing just finishing the last direction of my shamanic medicine wheel. So I have a plethora of modalities that I use in the Asha T healing method. And my inner, my work started in emotional intelligence. And then I was gifted a really crazy soul situation with um, an external male last year. And that sent me absolutely flying. And I was like, I'm indigo, ah, I'm crazy. I'm so full of magical powers. And what turned out to be emotions is energy in motion. And I started to step deeper into that, which is more of the understanding that everything is energy. So much of what we show up as, who we show up as uh, in any given moment is going to really dictate the outcome. So I've trans sort of my goal is to really bring back heaven on earth by helping people and guiding people through their trauma and I combine sort of the three, what happens here in the 3D with the spiritual realm and um, clearing their trauma so that they can increase their consciousness, move up to higher states of vibration and have that um, oneness within and feel really uh, that, that divine union within their self. And, and I'm personally on this journey, so it's exciting. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm no, I'm no stranger to sharing that. I, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite, um, quite open book about my own personal journey, but um, it's been, it's been beautiful. And I think that right now here in this realm, this time that we've chose to incarnate, uh, there's big work that the women are doing. We can see it everywhere and, and, you know, no diss to the boys that are watching the men, but um, there's, we've, we've been experiencing that wounded masculine um, on the realm and as within, so without, and therefore um, it's our duty, our duty really to step in and, and help to heal this. Mm -hmm. And so Asha, tell me a little bit about um, how we can work with our own energy fields to, yeah. to move through and to process some of the, the stuff that happens to us in our daily life, like as we're on this path of inner journey. Beautiful. Yes. So today, actually, we're going to be learning a technique known as um, the second awareness, which is essentially the concept that the invisible world 
It cannot be seen with eyes of like logic and reasoning. That's the innocence that we see in children, right? They have that beautiful innocence of not seeing things uh, from a logical perspective. And really we have access to that though we are in such a state of seeing things so logically. Um, our paradigms, our behavioral patterns, our, um, you know, our trauma, we see things through a particular lens. So today we're going to be learning a way that we can sort of wipe that lens where we're able to access our own luminous energy field. So the shamanic, it's not even an understanding. It's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Our shamans work in the luminous energy field as do Reiki practitioners and other types of energy healers. Uh, but we've worked with the luminous energy field in working every day to really build the relationship where you're seeing that more clearly um, to the point when, you know, I'm doing my work and I can feel bumps or um, uh, different things in, in your chakras. Um, at your chakra points. So today we're going to learn a technique that's going to help you to start building the ability to feel your own as well as your children's and help them to clear their um, chakras as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, that sounds amazing. I'm so yes. pumped for this. Me okay, too. and we've got we've got so many amazing crew watching right here. Yep. We've got yeah, we've got Jamie and Mish and Danielle, Trudy, oh. Steph, Pinto, Lee. Oh. Um, all of these incredible people. Oh, and Donna. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Wait, Thank you Lee. so much for tuning in. Yeah. Lee, you're Lee. I have, he's amazing. Mm -hmm. Tell him I said hello. Well, he's Beautiful. listening. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. such an amazing thing, Ronnie. And as, um, you know, whether you choose to walk the ancient path yourself or, you know, just even taking this concept and reading, I mean, so much is available to us right now um, that you are able to um, really read into how you can work with your own luminous energy field and protecting your own energy, um, especially right now where there's a lot of fear vibration um, in certain areas of the world. So, um, so that's something that I wanted to note. And also, um, interesting things happen. I actually just had a session last night with one of my clients and we removed a little something from her crown, uh, her, um, I believe it was her crown chakra. And it's just such a, a powerful, a powerful thing. You know, she feels the difference today. It's just like amazing. I love this work so much. Yeah. And so the, the skill of being able to work within our own energy field, um, I know is really important to you because we, you and I have had many conversations in the past about like, we are our own healers. Yes, you know, and we yes. do have the things that we need inside of us in order to to be able to transmute things, you know, the, the stuff that comes up on just as part of being a human. So I'm really 100%. excited to to do this session with you. So yeah, go ahead. let's let's do it. Let's dive in. Okay. And right before we do that, I just want to share, like right before this guys, like 30 minutes ago, I was like killed over in the bathroom, like bawling my eyes out um, experiencing a moment of like deep, deep sadness. And I did this technique on myself in the, in the bath, in the shower, which is really where you should be doing it. If you have not walked the ancient path, the reason is, is because what we're going to, I'm going to be teaching you is to remove some heavy emotions and you want to make sure that they're being disposed of down the drain, not into mother earth, right? We don't want to be throwing heavy emotions into mother earth. Um, so anyway, it's something that you can do to really help yourself. You go to the root of where the pain is coming from. In my case, it was sadness. And then I found the sadness in my root chakra and I removed that um, for myself and allowed myself to feel through it, but also simultaneously cleaning out my chakra. Okay, so shall we? All right, so this is a double, um, this is a double, of technique that we're going to do. So first and foremost, as I mentioned, it's called second awareness. So this is, we're essentially activating our, excuse me, it's the second attention exercise, the second attention exercise. So it's an eye movement exercise and it helps you to recalibrate our neural networks. Okay. So our neural networks see things like, okay, that's black. That's white. This is a door. This is a lamp. 
Trish Asha is smoking hot, you know, just normal things. And then, <laughs> so, but what we want to do in this technique is reset our sensory coordinates so that we're actually kind of, it's almost like we're wiping away what we, what we think we see so that we're able to see beyond. Okay. So what you would do, I just did a, this with Steph's group last week, but um, we'll go a little bit deeper today. You're going to be closing your eyes. So go ahead and close your eyes, Ronnie. And then I want you to move them without moving your head, move them from right to left, then left to right, then up and down, and then upper left to lower right, upper right to lower left, and do that twice. Okay, just keep doing that. And now I want you to rotate your eyes in big circles, left to right three times. Mm -hmm and then go right to left three times. And then I want you to do them in small circles. Same deal, left to right, and then right to left. And then I want you to repeat that, okay? So just to repeat that for those watching, close your eyes. We're moving them from right to left, left to right, up and down, down and up, upper left to lower right, and then vice versa. Do that a few times. And then we're rotating big circles left to right, then right to left, and then we're doing small circles, left to right, right to left, and then we're repeating that, okay? Then I want you to bring your hands together in a prayer pose when you're finished doing that, okay? And just remember that we have our meridian points that run through our hands, right? This is sort of um, the meridian points that we feel when we're anywhere in our energetic field, uh, acupuncture as well. When we bring them together, we're actually balancing our energies, our energy in motion. This is probably, you know, why we pray. Um, and then I want you to just start to separate your hands a little bit. Okay. And then now just completely separate them and, and shake them vigorously. Really shake them for about 30 seconds. Okay. And then just keep relaxing them, relaxing them. <sighs> okay. And then after the 30 seconds is up, I just want you to bring them back together, nice and slow. Nice and slow, you feel that? That friction, yeah. And you can often feel if one is maybe a little bit stronger than the other as well, just kind of taking notice of the sensitivity between them. And what we've done here is we've activated our hands our hands into healing hands so that we're able to start to actually feel energy in motion. So now what we wanna do is sense our own luminous energy field. So we do that technique, right, fully. And then we shake our hands and then you're just gonna take your palms <clears throat> and you're gonna bring them from here all the way up. These are our seven energy points, our chakras, okay? And feel free in the comments to say if you're feeling any bumps, if you're feeling nothing at all, it's completely okay, guys. This is a practice. You have to do this, you know, if you want to really do this, you can do it every single day. And just feeling through that, feeling that, okay? Now, this is where it gets good. This is where the healing comes in. Okay. So how are you feeling, Ronnie? Have you, do you, are you noticing anything? Is there anything that's coming up for you? What does it feel like texturally for you? I definitely felt the, the difference after having done the activation when my hands mm -hmm. came back together. Yeah. Yeah. Did you notice anything when you were feeling around your field or not quite yet? Not quite yet. Yeah. Because I'm kind of yeah. looking out in the comments to, you know, yeah. to make sure that everyone's like following along and doing well. Um, but okay, yeah, I, I, I understand technically um, what we're doing here. It's all about um, sensing our own en energy centers yes. and what the vibration of each of those are. Is that right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful thing is, is that when we do this with our chakras, we can actually think 
so we go to the seven chakra points. And if you go to like your second or third, your second chakra, um, your sacral chakra, which is our emotional chakra. If you actually start to think of a sad moment or something where you might feel a lot of shame, you can actually maybe feel a little heat in this area or maybe a little bit of turbulence, right? Remembering that the chakras are deeply embedded in us, but they come out about three inches outward out of our energy field. And our luminous energy field comes out really about six inches to a foot. All right. And then the higher frequency we have, the more we actually radiate outward. It's beautiful. But you can, when you're working, you're sort of thinking six inches. And then when you're working with the chakras, it's about three inches. So let's say you have a heavy emotion or you're feeling stressed you want to identify the emotion, the energy in motion. Okay. So is it sadness? Is it happiness? Is it fear? Is it anxiety about the future and wanting to control it? And then while you're in the shower, you do that technique of the second awareness where you cl close your eyes, clear your eyes, vigorously shake your hands, bring them together. You can rub them together if you want. Maybe do that, something like this to really accentuate what's going on in your luminous energy field and then running your hands over your own chakras. And when you get to a chakra point, right? So let's say there's the root here and then we have the sacral and then we have the solar plexus. These are the ones we do most of the heavy emotional removing from the root chakras, the lower ones. You might feel a bit of a difference or you wanna just give them a general clean you then in the shower, you take your hand and you move it left, okay? You're opening up your chakra point. And then just, and then what you do after you open it is you take your hand and you scoop out any heavy emotion and you flick it down the drain, flick it down the drain, okay? And you just go like this. Okay, this is a beautiful technique, guys, that you can use at any time that you might have a heavy emotion, feel through the emotion, and then do this at the same time. It's, it's cleaning out your energy field while you're feeling through it. It's not, it's not like, a, oh, I don't want to cry. Let me clean out my chakra. It's like, let's feel through this and then get the root of this deeply. And the reason is, is our chakras spin right they spin when they're spinning beautifully they spin to the right so what we're doing is we're removing anything by spinning it to the left and we're taking out anything that's no longer serving us okay and then you want to close it up with the right oh don't forget to close it okay so it's really important and then you might do the next chakra open that up with your left hand and then scoop that out breathing through the heart Flicking it down, scooping a few things until you can feel that you can feel the heavy flow leaving your body. You can feel it leaving. I know because I feel it with my clients all the time. I do this in addition to a few other techniques in my work. This is just one small one you can do at home. And then you close that and then you do the third one. Okay. So that's the technique. And you can use this on your children. You can do this with your children as well. Okay, so this is a way that you are able to utilize energy work into into your own practice, into your into your own self healing. Mm -hmm. And Asha, bringing this technique back into a daily practice, how has this type of thing really helped you on your path? The reason I ask is because I know that you have been going through so much stuff, processing Holy like heaps and heaps and heaps of like lots and lots of stuff and so how is a practice like this so integral to you like being able to function in your daily life yeah, tell me about it <laughs> life is crazy honest to god i was thinking about that on the way up here i was like what the in the world i have gone through such crazy amounts of stuff and it's it look and you know if i threw my problems in a pile you know, they're not, they're not major problems, but the detriment and the pain that I'm feeling, it feels sometimes like I'm doing it on behalf of the entire world. It feels like really intense. So for me, I'm just getting more and more serious about my consistency with this work. This work is like, you know, girl, there's some days where like, 
I haven't done anything but inward work like all day. So for me, um, I have a lot that I'm still working through. And this is why I love being a woman and having these containers like open to love and like this stuff that with these communities that we're building, cause we're all going through it. Like I still have a real desire to control and, tr- and the trust of the universe, even though I know I should trust it. I have a very strong masculine pillar that's been very wounded for a long time. And that shit's hurting to like clean it up. So the more that I do this, the more I just release and trust and show up every day um, in the love frequency, which is so vital. It's my work. It's your work. It's just, it's really the way it should be, you know? And so for me, um, I'm not going to ever stop. And I, I really encourage everybody to just continue on this path because it's just so beautiful. And I feel like if we do like three more um, generations of this, we don't have to do it anymore. And everybody can just like relax and farm and stuff and be like totally chill. (laughs) So Asha, I want to just now talk a little bit about um, this concept of feeling something in order to heal it. Yes. Yes, we talk about this a lot, right, Ronnie, because we both go like real deep and how important it is to feel it, like really feel it. Um, I had a client just the other day talking about how she does stop herself because she almost falls into a bit of shame uh, of having that feeling, you know, which stemmed from her her childhood um, and also like not really... Uh, I will say as well, sometimes after my sessions with my clients, there'll be days the next day and they'll say, oh my gosh, I I don't feel good. And I'm like, you got to get it out. It's got to come out. Like your body just went through a massive shift. Get it out. Like it's, and then, you know, that's where the enlightenment is on the other side. We, you know, I'm all about the spiritual war that's going down here and the, in the spell that we've been put under to not feel our emotions and to stifle them and that they're lame and men shouldn't cry and we shouldn't cry and keep it together all the time. And it's just, it's, it's a a way to keep us in a low frequency of consciousness because the enlightenment is on the other side. Mm -hmm. Mm. And also Asha, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what it is to be able to work within your own energy field. What was the question? So, I mean, <laughs> what I mean is, um, is when we can work within our own energy field to actually change our own vibration. Um, yeah, I just want to hear your thoughts on how important that's been to you in your own journey of you being able to to process the shit that's gone down in your life as it no happens, kidding, like right? in real time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, first off, look, I'll be honest with you. I'm a shaman. I don't muck around in the low vibes too long. I find it really quite, quite frankly, I'm sorry, I find it a bit draining. Right? Though, that said, I definitely have you and my other people in my life that I speak to that it's so important to have this community. Even sometimes just having the community can help with our vibration, right? So to be able to have these tol- tools in the back pocket as well, my newest one is... Um, the activation that I've just made for self-acceptance and self-love, which I'm happy to share with your audience, um, where it actually, we, I actually like, if I, if I start to feel a low vibe, I literally envision myself just flooding with self-love and self-acceptance. And I like pull up what it is that I'm feeling. Like if I'm feeling sad or if I'm feeling like embarrassed about a memory from the past. And then I just cover it into in self-love. And the more you do this, the more we do this practice, the easier and the faster it is. It's like the most beautiful thing. And that's why, um, and we all have energy fields. Like we all Mm -hmm. have the ability to heal ourselves. We are our own healers. It's just amazing and magical and I love it you know so much. Asha, would you be willing to like just lead us through like a little practice of of sending love to the a little aspect of ourselves like what you just mentioned is that something that we can do for like in a little short session yes oh my gosh heaps of time and I'm sure everyone is really keen I'm reading all of these comments here yeah Stacey fucking love you um yeah (laughs) 
They're so cute. Yeah. Okay. Jamie so says every- she's blessed and grateful to be here. So everyone is really digging this. Oh yeah, we're getting some hearts regarding oh, well, this idea. Hearts. Yeah. Yes, I love this idea. I will say yes. Um, and to all the women that are joining me for my virtual energy tour. Oh yeah, girls! Just mm-hmm. got to Raleigh. I'm so excited. Tomorrow will be our first day and our first our first bit of the session. We'll talk about that in a moment. But sure, this will be about four four minutes, maybe five. Mm-hmm. Okay, so just everybody go ahead and breathe in through the nose and breathing out and just noticing your belly rising as you breathe out. And I just want to invite you to continue to slowly breathe in and out as I just give a quick explanation as to why we might do something like this type of practice. So often we look externally to fix our problems, take action, look outside ourselves. Breathing. But the deep healing comes when we begin to integrate our shadow aspects, the parts of ourself that we may not love in this current moment. So, I would like for you to continue to slowly breathe in and breathe out. And I'm going to invite you to open up your heart and fill your entire body with love, love and acceptance. Don't want you to ask how or overthink it. Just feel the vibration, the highest frequency flooding your chest. As you breathe into that and breathe out. I'm now going to ask that you pull up shame. Any shame you may feel from any memories, any previous relationships, anything you've done that you've not been proud of. Pull that up. And I want you to cover that in love. Beautiful. Again, not thinking too much about how, just allow the love to completely accept all of the shame in you. I'm next gonna ask you to pull up any anger any anger you might have towards someone else, someone who's done you wrong, any anger you have toward yourself for a bad decision, pull that up. And now cover that part of you in love. Love and acceptance. I now want you to pull up any narcissism, any narcissistic traits that you might have, people pleasing, treating your loved ones with disrespect. Pull that up. And cover that now in love and acceptance, fully accepting all of your shadow aspects. And lastly, we're just going to pull up any sadness, any sadness you're holding on to, any regret, any feelings like you can't go on anymore. Pull that up. Allow yourself to feel that deeply. I can feel it in the container now. Go ahead and let it out if you need to. And cover all of that sadness, all of that lack of being able to move forward, cover that completely in love and acceptance. Yes, so beautiful. Okay, and take a deep breath in and a big breath out. 
remembering this is available to you at any time, any time you're feeling these deep emotions of memories that you're holding on to from the past, that you have the ability to access that love within and completely cover your body, your feeling changing the emotional charge. And this is most effective when you do it 15 to 30 days in a row. And I'm happy to share that activation with everyone. It's actually about 15 minutes in length. So you guys can come on back. That was just a short taste of that. How are you doing, wow. Michael? You made me cry, Asha. <laughs> I could oh, feel that. Was, Everybody, I don't think you were yeah, the only one. I was like I'm a sure. push of like yeah, sadness. It, I feel like teary-eyed myself, actually. As soon as you you said, okay, now bring up any anger, like straight away, I could feel like my nose tingling and like this like vibration of sadness come come straight up within me. And then also when we again came back to, to sadness in its own right at the end, yeah, I, I was quite surprised how close to the surface it was. You know, like I didn't have to dig down deep. It was like right there and I could feel it. And so having that let's say exercise where I was learning to flex my love muscle to, to then put my arms around that emotion. It, it's such a, a strengthening technique because that is the way that we can change our state. Not, we're yes. not changing it because we want to get rid of it, but we're feeling it because we want to heal it. So, yes. so yes. I found that exercise really useful because it's like doing reps at the gym, you know, like you're strengthening your muscles so that you yes. have the capability to self self soothe. So that was that really, so really beautiful. beautiful. You know, I'm, I love what you said as well in regards to when the fear came up and you felt that sadness, it's that reminder that so often anger, excuse me, when the anger came up, anger, fear frustration these are these are protective mechanisms protecting our inner child who is afraid who mm -hmm. is sad so who is scared they are they are emotions that cover other emotions in a defensive way right and that's i just mentioned that on my instagram handle for those that aren't following me it's asha.t healing and i'm doing quick snippets on trauma and understanding that. And that was one that I talked about was the abandonment wound and how we want to control things. It's just us protecting ourselves. So when you get angry, you're protecting yourself. So beautiful that you highlighted that Ronnie, mm. right? Because it is also, it makes us more graceful and loving toward those in our field. When they begin to get angry, we can see their wounded self. We can see that they're just protecting themselves. We're able to hold space a little bit easier in that regard and keep, keep, keep our own emotions in check and not spit fire back because we know that that's their, their, their wounding. Mm. So I'm just having a look at some of these comments, Asha. And so Helen Dean, who is an incredible tarot card reader as well, and healer in her own right, check her out. Um, she I said, will. I feel so blissful and peaceful from that activation. Danielle oh, says, yes. I felt pressure in my heart chakra and then she felt it release. <laughs> Um, and she was also surprised at the thoughts or the visions that she saw that she needed to forgive. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is so powerful. Oh, yeah. So this is, incredible. This is such a beautiful activation to do anywhere from 15 to 30 days daily. Um, mm -hmm. and, it, and the one that I can share with everyone is about 12 to 15 minutes. So mm -hmm. I'll be happy to share that in the group for everyone for free access. Oh, thank you so much. That's incredible and so generous oh my gosh, of you. My I would love and, to. And Asha, out of all of the speakers that we have as part of this incredible program, um, I just want to ask you something else about the nature of emotions and that it's energy in motion because like this is your whole background. And so I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you yeah. about this particular piece as I know um, how, how deeply important that is to your work. Yes. What was the question? <laughs> Energy uh, in motion. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So it's um emotions. Energy emotions. Yes. You, you're you're an EQ oh. coach. <laughs> I'm a Pisces. I love emotions. Get up in the motions. Um, yes, this is what I coach. This is for me, it is game changing. Um 
when we be, it's such a combination of using this emotions awareness, emotion awareness to enrich our relationships, enrich our relationships with self, but it also simultaneously allows us to see that we are eternal beings. We are our own tree of life. We have oneness within. So my, my teachings, I have a few different levels. I have self-worth warriors, which is um, a beautiful class for women that are sort of just kind of starting um, this healing journey, maybe a little bit further on. It's beautiful. We talk about the divinity of masculine and feminine. Um, the narcissist empath relationship, all these dualities that we have, these polarities and um, bringing that into oneness, right? And so there's, again, the Jungian um, archetypes we discuss, we talk about triggers, there's emotional intelligence, it's a beautiful course. The next course I'll be doing is for women who want to draw in business, uh, they're ready to step into their soul's purpose, and that starts at the end of September. And this is going to be all about um, the, the strategy of clean in the meat suit to bring in soul alignment in our clients and trusting the divine by lining up with what, what it is that we're doing, right? We, the universe will respond um, when, you, when you do this work and you implement it into a business. So that's my other, my other thing that I offer. And then I do private coaching as well um, for women that are, my, my, my clients get a magnitude of stuff. We do shamanic journeying. We do hypnosis. I do activations, quantum activations, sisterhood. It's the best work ever. I just mm -hmm. feel so blessed. And I'm so grateful that the women that I'm working with are just having huge breakthroughs and moving closer to their soul purpose, whatever that is. 100 percent like even mish rosen who's joining us today she's watching even her she just like had this massive breakthrough from working with you just yes. yesterday right and she's so now amazing. she's stepping full more fully into alignment on her path and it, and when i've done sessions with you um straight away like energetically i've noticed massive things just like automatically fall into place as a result of of the energetic shifts that happen through from the sessions Yes, um, I, I, I really love it. Yeah, yeah, massive, yeah, massive get, stuff. Get yeah. that money, girl. Yeah, mm. exactly. Yeah, it's exactly. fantastic. And those are the types of um, results that we have um, in my sessions. They're mm. really quite powerful, and they're just—it's just the most beautiful work. I also work for those who are, are listening with people who have autism, PTSD, um, cancer. Uh, they might be facing death. They may have just experienced a death um, and they're holding on to a lot of mourning, all of this type of stuff. Um, I'm, I'm happy to help with. It's, it's so beautiful. Mm. And actually what I will also add is your group containers attract the most beautiful people. So the, the community part of it is, is really super nice. And Asha, yes. tell everyone about what you're doing right now. You're on this incredible vortex tour yes. of the US. Yeah. I am. And so it is closed. We have 15 women that are joining us for an energetic tour um, across the United States. Maybe if one or two people want to join, we can add them. It's going to be so ridiculous. I'm going to nine energy vortexes across the US. I'm starting in, in North Carolina and I'm heading, driving over to Sedona. And then finally in Mount Shasta, the undercurrent and the whole theme is to heal the wounded masculine of the entire realm through the mother through the divine feminine which is mother earth in these energy vortexes and it's so crazy because i had said two months ago to a friend oh i should drive around doing energy healing and it's happening and i don't even know how i planned this trip it just like kind of like it felt like my soul was just guiding me and so that's what's kicking off. I do have two sessions left at Sedona and Mount Shasta where I can give you a, a, a one hour and 20 minute shamanic full throttle healing session right at the foothills of the mountains. Wow. So if you're, okay. So you yeah. have two spaces for that. Okay. Whoever is watching and is feeling cold, I would definitely jump on that because that is yes. going to be amazing. Are amazing and like the energy it's just it's so powerful so there's um one is at sedona which will be um 
more uh, like an emotional driven one. If you're, if you're called to really neutralize your own field, I'd encourage you to sign up for that one. And then the one at Mount Shasta is for healing the inner child. These are the core wounds, codependency, attachment, um, uh, codependency, attachment wound, um, and the mother wound, the father wound. So if you're, that's deep rooted, um, energy healing. So they're going to be really, really powerful. I, I cannot actually wait. And personally, I will be fasting for this trip. So I'm going to wow. be super tuned in to the energy fields. You're going to be I'm, like, here, <laughs> even more than I'm normal. Very, like bouncing around all over the place, just being a mermaid. You know? Okay. And so oh, actually the whole, it. this whole tour is all about healing the, the divine masculine. I was just yeah. wondering, would you care to like just chat a little bit about your own journey, your own personal healing regarding the masculine? Yes, yes. And I'm still on this journey, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because yeah. I have had, um, for anybody that doesn't know, and I share pretty much everything with everybody, but I've had two sort of soul tie twin flames rock up and shake shit up um, while I was also going through a divorce, which I was holding on to my husband for a very long time. Um, and when I, when I let go of him, I... It, oh gosh, it was crazy. I was chasing after this twin flame and my husband was sort of coming after me. It was very, very vivid, vivid in my mind, the energy jumping back and forth. I could see it so clearly. Um, I knew right then and there that I was being called to help with energy in neutralizing this. I couldn't quite see it at the time. I, I just knew that I was seeing chaos and what was I looking for in this man? And then I realized almost immediately that whatever it was I was looking for in him, I was needing to find within myself. It has changed my life. I have gone from like this anxious, crazy, I'm so crazy, but I'm like fun, crazy, full stop. I used to be like fun, crazy slash anxious, crazy. Now I'm fun, crazy. That's it. But that said, I like step deeper into like my sexy feminine energy because I built this trust in my masculine. I trust my internal masculine so much. It's like flourish my business. I mean, I've only been in this business for six months and I like, people are like, are you joking me? And I'm like, no. And also like, it's just, been beautiful. I used to get it all wrong. I was chasing after money. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I want, I want, I want. And now I'm like, I'm receiving it's coming. And it's such a beautiful shift of mindset. The anxiety is gone. The need to control it's still wriggling around a little bit. Let's be honest. But like, it's, it's like 95% transmuted. This, this trip is going to lock that down. And I'm feeling like it's just such a powerful thing. And guys, remember this was brought on by, this was a spell that we were put under that women needed to, men and women are equal, but we are not the same. We are not the same. Okay. And everybody's running out, chasing after this, paying for that, doing this, and no one's taking care of the innocent, the children, like, you know, and all that beautiful stuff. And it's really put a lot of pressure onto the family unit. And so my goal is to help neutralize that have women stepping into their businesses of acts of service of healing of 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 stuff that they can do with a nice flow and it's just it's beautiful you know what I mean I mean even now like I'm still a total badass at work and I'm I love action I take a lot of action you know that right and like mm -hmm. I, I love that I love business but I'm doing it so differently it's like so much more chill and just trusting because you can trust that inner masculine inside yourself. It's in there. It's in there. And, and what are the pieces? What are the pieces that have been really instrumental for you in healing that wounded masculine within you? The men, <laughs> the external men. Yeah. They have been my mirrors. And so I use that mirroring technique with my clients. I help my clients to see stuff that they might not want to look at. And I mm -hmm. want them to go there and see that, but, um, and utilizing people around us as our mirrors, that's one of my tools, but you know, that the things that help me the most hypnosis with you, subconscious mm -hmm. work. One day I was so, could not stop crying for days. I worked with Ronnie and it, it was amazing. I had so much clarity around these soul contracts with these, these external men. Um, 
shamanic journeying, gosh, I just, it is the cure all end all be all for everything in my opinion, because I believe every dis-ease is an emotional charge and then quantum activation. And so Mm -hmm. I personally have now incorporated all three into my work, into the Asha T healing method, because I know Mm -hmm. that it's the healing is a journey. It is a journey, right? And it's, it's not a race, but it's helpful if you can kind of move through it with a coach and with a guide, um, because nobody wants to feel like shit. (laughs) You know what I mean? Or we want to move through it in a way where we have the tools to move through it faster and accept it, if that makes Mm -hmm. sense. And the sisterhood, the community. Yeah. 100%. And so Asha, tell everyone where they can find you. Okay, so anybody who's not already in my group, it's Asha T Healing VIP group on Facebook. And you can find me on Instagram at asha.t.healing. And I'm on, in, I'm everywhere, really. Like I'm on YouTube, I'm on the places. So, but I will say for anybody who's interested, who has not signed up for one of these um, in-person sessions, let me know excuse me not in-person sessions they're virtual but they are powerful from from the sources so it, please let me know if, if you're interested in hearing more and please join the asha tv VIP healing group because we do free activations all the time and fun mm-hmm. stuff and sisterhood and we've always it is a good great group groups. it is it's awesome yeah. it's awesome oh and mish rosen is talking about the uh your group called self-worth warriors which uh you were mentioning earlier and she said that it was amazing it brought my light out and pushed me to do the work changed my life forever yeah i love her so yeah and that the self-worth warriors that was the group that you're talking about the the um group coaching program which is all about for people that maybe on the start of this journey where they're looking to expand and heal and to step into their own um truth and authenticity right absolutely it's so beautiful and i work with uh, my assistant uh my assistant coach stacy and it's just awesome like we we keep it intimate it's anywhere from uh you know sort of 10 to 12 women, maybe 15 at the absolute most. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's, I mean, my, I've done, I've run three containers and everybody's still like in touch and yeah. like reaching out, missing the group. And it's awesome. It's just good. Mm-hmm. So, and if you can, Asha, post the, um, the, your group, your free um, portal there. If you post that down in the group, then everyone can find it because we've already got some people asking about about where the link is for that. So Beautiful. yeah, are, are there oh any God, questions from anyone watching? If anyone has a specific question or something that they're going through, we do have a couple of minutes left. If you wanna post yes. that straight up, if you're feeling brave and like sharing, please go ahead. Mm, I can feel yeah. into, into your energy as well. If anybody has a question that they want clarity around. Mm -hmm. while that's happening uh whilst hopefully someone's going to jump in and take advantage of that beautiful offer jamie says self-worth group coaching was amazing for me so many breakthroughs spiritual and psychic awareness do it ladies yeah jamie oh my god i love her she's amazing they're all awesome and they, she wasn't yeah. even in the same container as Mish. I, Jamie, I don't even know if you know Mish yet. You guys got to get connected. Oh, you're both doing the virtual tour, so. Oh, yeah. and Danielle posted the link. Thank you, Danielle. It's the Asha T <laughs> Healing Method VIP group. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're awesome, Danielle. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Love these guys. Amazing. Wow. Well, thank you Beautiful. so much. No one, no one's jumping in on that. All good. All good. On that Maybe question. That's... But we're getting lots All of good. love hearts. Getting a love heart shower. I love yeah. it. Ah, I love yeah. it. I'm yeah. so excited to kick off this energy tour too. I like, again, also if anybody's keen, just hit me up in DMs or um, today will be the last day that you can sign up for that. I'm really, really should be capping it. But if anybody's really being called, it's only $3.99 US and it runs yeah. for two weeks. So it's about 200 bucks for two weeks of like deep activations there's three group activations as well and then you have lifetime access on a private youtube channel and then there's a sisterhood whatsapp group which is going to be fun so yeah and then there's a whatsapp a separate whatsapp group where i'll put energy updates and photos and stuff of the tour um that doesn't have any commenting on it but you be in the sisterhood whatsapp group 
Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Asha, for My opening pleasure. this festival for me. As soon as I had this idea for this on free online festival, straight away, I was like, oh my God, Asha needs to be on day one. Like, I just felt like you would be my good luck charm for an incredible series of events, which it's going to be. So tomorrow we have Jess Panilli, who's a women's empowerment coach, and she's oh. going to be speaking on, um, on connecting to self before connecting to others. Um, which is so powerful because like what you said, so often we're looking outside of ourselves for answers, but actually once we like stop and, and just reconnect with ourselves, we have everything that we need is all we need to do is just find it within ourselves. So did yeah, you, you guys. Did she say, yeah. did you say she's a relationship coach? Um, a, an empowerment coach. Beautiful. Yeah, oh Jess Keneally. So you can see the, the schedule in the, um, in, the com in the other post in this group as well yes, but that's gonna be so it. good she's amazing I can't wait. I'm so yeah. excited and thank you so much for having me Ronnie you are honestly one of the most intelligent beautiful healers we're so blessed all of us to have you in our our, our energy field and I just feel so blessed like I often call Ronnie my spirit animal here in the realm she's like my spirit animal incarnated in the human form <laughs> I love that. I love that. Thank you so yeah. much, Asha. And um, I, I really you. appreciate you opening this festival for us all. It was really incredible. That that technique is amazing. So thank you so much. And yeah, My everyone pleasure. can catch the, the activation that you'll post below. Yes. So I'll, and, I'll and, see and you guys love, tomorrow. And also just, just yeah. to keep the conversation going, anybody who's watching, please post in the group yeah. how effective this was for you in a separate comment to Get to, to help Ronnie and also to just get everybody who's watching and who's a member of this group to get activated and feel good about watching this. And then also please try this technique at home and then post about it in the group for us so we can read about it and I can comment and, and see how you go with you doing that in the shower. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And there's so many beautiful comments that I'm just reading here. Um, and thank you for the beautiful words that you just said to me. Like anytime, like there's heaps of beautiful comments. My, I always say it's a love fest. And actually that's kind of was my first idea for the title of this, of this festival of it's a love fest. <laughs> but um, I thought open to love is a little more specific and then people can get a, um, a gist of, of the intention of the container as well. But yeah, I do love myself a good love fest. So thank you for oh, all yeah. of the love. So many beautiful comments that everyone's just showered with, with love. Yeah. I know. All right, you guys. Just, we're blessed. I love us. All right. We are. Okay, guys. Okay. I love you. Thank Bye. you so much. I love you. I love Bye. you. Thanks for Bye, watching. Honey. See you guys. Bye, gorgeous. Bye. <laughs>